rise and shine everybody good morning it is monday morning and it's a rainy day here in new york city getting ready because i'm going on a lot of podcasts this week having a lot of people on our podcast actually no it's a lie just today but um brooke and i are about to record with Lindsay from we met at acme and i am so excited i've been listening to her podcast for years before i was even dating ryan truly and i know brooke has too we're so excited so we're doing a podcast swap with her so she's going on gals on the go and we're going on we met at acme i'm literally so excited for her to ask me what my sign is because like she's like what's your age and what's your sign like she always asks her guests that and i am so excited so i'm getting ready right now i'm breaking out which is not fun I haven't broken out in a while. I think it's because I got a facial. And that is what happens, my friends. I love facials. They feel so good. But they always wreck my skin. Comment down below if you feel the same. And I only got a hydrofacial, and I like hydrofacials. But they did, like, appeal on me. And I feel like maybe that was it. Because I don't, like, it wasn't, like, a true facial. It was just a hydrofacial. Um, and, like, she didn't do any extractions or anything, but... Anyways, welcome back to a week in my life. Um, what's going on this week? I'm going on a lot of podcasts, so, well, Brooke and I are. So, today we're going We Men Act Me. Tomorrow we're going on Eli Rallo's podcast, um, Miss Congeniality, which I'm excited about. We had her on Gals on the Go some months ago. Um, and then Wednesday, I'm going solo on Match Made in Manhattan, which is another one of my favorite podcasts. So, because Brooke went on last week, I'm going on this week. Because there's already three of them, so it'd be really hard for them to have Brooke and I on at the same time. That would just be like five voices. It's just like a lot, you know? So, ugh, my skin is just not doing it for me today. Don't you love that? And I thought I was giving myself enough time to get ready, but I just truly did not. It's going to be a headband day, and that's okay. I was up late last night with Ryan building my Ikea Alex shelves, which I haven't filled up yet. So I want to do that in this week's vlog because I it's like a ton of drawers and I want to put all my products in there. That'll be the last box from my move left. So yeah, welcome back to another week of my life. I'll show you guys my outfit in a little. I really like it and I'm going to finish getting ready. All right, here is the fit of the day. I can't tell if it's too much, but I just don't have time to change my outfit, so. It's giving Blair Waldorf kind of meets Serena, Selena Gomez. Did I just say Selena Gomez? Serena Vanderwitzen. Um, oh my god, deodorant is all on my sleeve. Need to rinse that off. <laughs> Long sleeve is Zara. This set is actually a three-piece set. I don't, I'm not wearing the third piece right now because it's a little chilly. Um, from Shauna Joy. I love it. I love this, like, reconstructed moment with the blazer vest. D Dyson air wrapped my hair. Headband is from Scunsy, I believe. And then I'm wearing my Vince Camuto boots. I seriously have to go, but so excited bringing this bag because I have like touch up makeup and stuff because after we record with Lindsay, we're gonna head to the Gals on the Go office to record like the intro. But yeah, it's a Gal on the Go type of day. Let's do it. <laughs> fun intro and then the episode with Lindsay went so well you guys like I learned so much so definitely go listen to that it'll be out this coming Wednesday when you guys are watching or no actually I think it's out today when you guys are watching this vlog I don't even know anymore I can't keep track of my videos but it was really fun and chatted a lot now I need to go back and eat a little lunch Brooke and I got a little snack at Starbucks that was really nice it felt like we were in Gossip Girl or something because we're both like all dressed up and we we're like sitting there eating our croissants drinking coffee I was like I literally feel like I'm in a movie. You know what I mean? But also, I'm really, I'm really inspired to like. This isn't even dressed up. We're in like sweaters, but like you are dressed up. This looks amazing. You're dressed up too with your trench coat yeah, on everything. Yeah, and but it feels it. like good to walk around and be like. It does, done up, especially like, like, you know? together in a unit. Yeah, like it feels. I'm, I'm forgetting about. It feels nice to like be put together. You know, it is nice. It was, it was fun. Like, do you know what I mean? When we were sitting there, I almost said something, but we were no, like doing the combo. No, we were sitting there at the bistro, just like eating. It was like we are in a scene right now. Um, so yeah, good episode. Great day. That was like a bit. That was a lot of talking. I need to. It's a podcast week. Did you realize this? Oh yes, I did. Going on Eli's tomorrow, yeah. and then you already were on match made, but I'm going on match uh -huh. on Wednesday. After this week, I'm gonna just sit in a quiet, dark room with yes. myself. <laughs> yeah, well, after this weekend. Yeah, I, yeah. I know. After mm -hmm. Halloween, oh, yeah. and then quiet, dark next week. Yep. <laughs> Lights go off. Anyways, yay, it was good. Okay, just got back. I walked 
mainly back, and then it started raining, so I held it. Um, I'm hungry for lunch. I have some leftover um, bonza pasta, like chickpea pasta. I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna make green beans. I could probably just eat that, but I really want some greens right now, but then what do I have for dinner? Maybe I'll go buy groceries for dinner, we'll see. But yeah, that is today's lunch. <laughs> Hi guys, it's way later now. I just made some dinner, got some chicken and rice. I had rice left over from last night and literally two pieces of chicken and green beans. Um, I have more green beans too, I just made them. Um, so yeah, I'm going to eat. I've been just filming honestly a lot, like some fun sponsored content. And yeah, apartment is looking really, really cozy though. Like I cannot get over the vibes, I also, I know that we need to fix that curtain, but other than that, it's looking so lovely. Chaotic energy coming your way. I'll take my hair down to look a little bit more presentable. Finished filming and doing all the things, so I fully took a shower, washed my face, put on pimple patches, did my skincare routine, put on this comfy, like, Lunia dress shirt and now I'm gonna like get on the couch or I don't really know where I'm gonna set up shop And I have a lot of editing to do of those things that I just filmed and other things on my computer blue light glasses on jazz music on you log on like gotta get the vibes right because I don't like to have to do things like I hate when I'm like Really dressed up and I'm like I don't know if that makes sense like I want to just like put my hair up and like get to town So I was like let me do everything first shower everything and now I can like I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense, but I really like to like be in the zone and if I if I can help it, I'm thankful to work from home obviously, but it's a vibe. Anyways, I I'm having really low self-confidence recently. It's literally everything. I mean, my skin randomly started breaking out again and it's just flashing back to high school when I just had really bad acne. It's not that bad, but like I'm just getting memories from it and I'm like the more stress I get I swear the more pimples I'll get and like I can't I don't want to touch them because when you touch them obviously they spread and pick at them poke at them I'm not supposed to do that so I literally just threw pimple patches on I'm like don't touch them I also like around this time of year always I like lose self-confidence because my summer tan is gone and I need to decide I honestly I probably just need to start doing self tan like please comment down below y'all's favorite self tan like do we like mousse i feel like mousse is the best bet but like the mitts everything and seriously like good for beginners because like i love getting spray tans but self tan it's it really stresses me out because i'm scared i'm gonna mess up so i think that's a big part of it and then also just my hair like i don't i don't like my hair right now i i'm just so unhappy with it i'm literally my hair appointment is finally this wednesday and i'm just so excited i truly don't know what to do and it's really hard because everyone's telling me to do something else like you should cut it really short, you should dye it brown, you should get your extensions back in, you should get bangs, like all these different things. And obviously at the end of the day, like it's up to me, but I don't even know what I want. Like yesterday I had this moment where I just wanted to cut it like not super short, but like shoulder length short and dye it like blonde blonde again. Like I love being blonde blonde. But then I was like, oh, my hair got super damaged then, but I was like, oh, maybe I could take care better care of it this time. But then a part of me is like, I loved when my hair was long. Should I get extensions back in? I also have my Halo extensions from Luxie that I just purchased. So I could try those. I also do like having the dark root with the blonde money pieces, but I feel like my hair's just been getting like super brassy lately. <sighs> I don't know. I really don't know what to do. And it's really hard because like everyone else has a different opinion, obviously. Um, and at the end of the day, like I want to feel good. But also if I cut my hair short, yeah, I can get extensions, but... I don't know, like that. I don't want to cut my hair short and then immediately put in hair extensions because I don't like it. Whereas if you get extensions, you always get them taken out. I don't know. I just, I really like have been hating my hair recently. That's why I keep putting it up. Like any chance I get to put it up, I literally do because I just don't, I really don't like my hair right now. Um, and today's Monday and my hair appointment's on Wednesday. And I'm like, okay, I have to think. Um, and then in my body, I'm just like not 100% confident. I just joined Equinox. I want to start doing more cardio and less strength training. But then I'm like, you know, then people say strength training is like the best bet for my specific goals. But then other people are like, no, 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 like do this. Do and I don't know what to do. And I feel like at the end of the day, you just need to do what feels right for you. And for me, like kind of switching up my workout just a little bit is exciting for me. And I'm really just trying to like stick to it because like my next few weeks are really busy. But like, why is it always that when you're really busy, the workout goes out the door first? 
or like eating good goes out the door first like that I'm, I'm trying so hard to not make that the case but I think just like I don't know like even the dress that I have like that I ordered to wear for Sarah's wedding in Nashville next weekend I literally hate how I feel in it and I don't know I don't like have that problem a lot but I like feel shitty in it I'm returning it I bought a new one and this next one that I bought it's like a flowy one it's happy and I feel like I'm gonna feel really good dancing around that I'm not gonna be tugging at my dress all night it's just I don't know I just like when I've just been trying on outfits recently I just don't like them and it's just it sucks Overall, I'm just not feeling confident, and I know it goes in ebbs and flows. Comes in waves for sure, like, that happens, but so I'm just really trying to prioritize myself and doing things that make me feel good and putting good things into my body, so I'm like, Danielle, you're doing the best you can. Um, so, yeah, I just thought I'd share it with you guys and be vulnerable for a second because I, that's how I'm feeling right now in this very moment, and that's that on that. Hope this is relatable in any sort of way and you're not alone, um, and just know that it's gonna come in waves and also doing things good for yourself, you'll just feel better and better. Anyways, hair is gonna go back up. Blue light glasses on. Let's get to work. I look like a mad scientist. It's a lot later now, it's midnight. The thing with this time change, or the time hasn't even changed yet, but with it getting dark at like six o'clock or whatever, I'll look out and I'm like, oh my God, it's so late. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, it's only 6.30. I have so much time, I can get so much more done. And then I end up staying up later because it feels like this timeless day. So now I'm realizing it's midnight and I need to be up early tomorrow, but I figured out my hair dilemma and I feel really good about it. I'm really excited. I could wake up tomorrow and be like, I changed my mind, but my hair appointment is on Wednesday. So I have like, I can sleep on it tonight, I can sleep on it tomorrow night. But I was texting with my hairstylist and she was like, I've been waiting for you to say this. I think I'm gonna cut my hair. I think I'm gonna cut my hair. If you guys are already, like, as, by the time you guys are watching this, I would have had my hair appointment. So go follow me on Instagram, at Daniel Carolyn, to see the reveal of whatever I did. That's fucking scary. Um, but I don't wanna just cut my hair with this color. I think I'm gonna go blonde blonde. Like I wanna be bright. Like I'm sorry to the people telling me to go brunette, it's just not happening at the moment. And I said I wouldn't go short, so here we are. But I do love like a short blunt cut. Not like super short, but like shoulder length. Like I wanna be able to put my hair up in some sort of way, but I feel like it's such a vibe for fall and winter when you're wearing coats and stuff, your hair is not in the way. I just need something new. Um, so I have like inspo of like that girl Molly May from I think it's Love Island. I found her on Pinterest and like some other looks where it was like short, blunt, but like not platinum blonde, but like that cooler tone blonde. It's pretty platinum blonde, honestly. Not sure what I'm gonna do with my roots yet. If I'm gonna be Rudy, I feel like I'll probably be a little Rudy because that's just impossible to not. Um, like I don't want to dye my hair. Like I want, like I'm dyeing my hair, but I don't want to like. I don't know. I I don't really know what we're gonna do, but I think we're gonna do it. I'm already excited. I'm already excited for my how my outfits are gonna look. I feel like that's just gonna put me in a good mood. So if you're in need of a change, hair is one thing that you can do if that's an option. And I was like, you know, if I literally hate it, I can. I literally just got these halo extensions, or I can get clip-in extensions, tape-ins. Like there's so many options, um, or like tie-in. Like so many options. So that's what I'm telling myself. So I feel better now, just knowing that. Um, and yeah, we've got a busy day tomorrow full of all kinds of things. So I will see you guys in the morning. I need to go to bed. I'm hoping I just read a couple pages of my Kindle and I fall right to sleep. I'm really hoping because I'm kind of like wound up because I was doing stuff on my computer. I crossed so many things off my to-do list. I submitted all my campaigns, feeling good. Got a little chat in with Delaney. It was really nice. I haven't talked to her in a while. Um, so yeah, anyways, <laughs> good night, see you in the morning. Good morning guys. Um, so that clip you just saw of me was me dancing and shaking it out. My anxiety's been pretty manageable recently. Um, I used to get like pretty bad panic attacks a lot, like, and just really bad anxiety like every day when I woke up and the last year, or the last like six months, six to eight months it's been very very like I've just been feeling so good like I was telling my parents like I just feel like 
when I start to feel the anxiety in my body, I really like have the tools and I really know how to kind of like maneuver it. I'm just like, okay, I know you're there. Like, let's deep breathe. I think this week is just like, I just packed a lot of things in and I stayed up too late last night, like doing work, some work that I was ahead on that I just didn't need to submit last night. So I think I was like really overstimulated before going to bed. And then I woke up early this morning cause I wanted to get like three different things done before I went to my appointment. And I woke up, I was really tired and I did not want to get out of bed. And then I got out of bed and I went to like go make my coffee I was gonna make decaf this morning, obviously. Um, and even though I was really tired, but I was like kind of feeling anxious. Cause I was like, I just have like a lot back to back today. And they're all like great fun things. Like, don't get me wrong. It's not like, it's all things I wanna do. But I don't know, I like went to the coffee machine. I just felt like my heart skip a beat. And then I like started panicking. I was like, oh my God, then my hands to my heart or hands to my heart. And I was just like, my heartbeat was like boom, 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 boom. And I was like freaking out. I was just like in panic mode. And I was like, Danielle, no, this has happened before. It just hasn't happened in a while. It's fine. So I'm like playing music. I'm like drinking water. I'm breathing deeply. And I felt like even when I was breathing deeper, my heart rate wasn't going down. And I was just like freaking out. Like, ah, oh, mine's nice and normal right now that's so nice i don't know i know it's like a niche thing like i've i've met a few people that experience what i do like i know my body was probably already anxious about the day but like to me i got anxious because of my heart but anyway so i called my mom i either call my mom or my dad depending on the day and the mood i'm in but this morning i needed some peaceful michelle and because my dad's like the doc, he's a doctor, so he'll be like, no, your heart's fine. Like, you've been to the doctor. Like, you're literally okay. This is called anxiety. But sometimes I need it to be my mom to kind of calm me down. And I'm just so thankful for her. Like, uh, I'm so thankful for my parents. Like, holy shit. And she literally, I don't even know what she was doing. But she was like, tell your speaker to play some Dua Lipa Let's Dance. Like, it just gets the energy out. And she, like, did, like, a little, my mom's a yoga teacher. So she did like a whole like deep breathing thing, but not just like sometimes like sitting and deep breathing isn't gonna work because you're still gonna be like, what? You need to like kind of move the energy she was saying. And that felt so good. And I'm so thankful. So we were like dancing together and it was nice. So, but I canceled my appointment because I was like, I just, I think it's, you know, I feel like I have all this me time, but like with all these podcast recordings and a lot of like, I don't know, a lot of overstimulation this week. Like I always look at the week, I'm like, I can do that. But then when you're in the day, you're like, why did I put so many things back to back? Like, why do I only have 15 minutes to get from here to there? Like why, why, like I need to, I have the privilege to not do that. So let me not do that because it's like really affecting me. And I like, no, I have a busy weekend coming up. All amazing things that I'm so grateful for, but uh, I'm on the verge of tears. It was a sign my body was just like, you're done. Like, you need to chill. You need to not go rush out. I was going to ship out some orders, do a return, go to my appointment. And then I was going to have 45 minutes to get from my appointment to shower, get ready, and go to Eli's podcast studio to be on the podcast. And then from there, run and get my nails done. And I know it's like, oh, my God, your nails, like, whatever. I could cancel my nails, too. But honestly, like, I'll be, I should be good from then. But... I realize the importance of like having your mornings to yourself if you can. Anyways, that that was my morning. And yeah. I just I'm always like, even though it's such fun things that I'm doing, why am I feeling anxious? It's because your body's like, hello. I need a second. So I'm feeling better now. I'm literally I keep checking my heart rate though. I'm like crazy. It's good. We're good. So I'm gonna do my journal, my doing well daily, make some decaf coffee. Honestly, maybe watch some Kardashians or something. Just something that's gonna make me feel good.
feeling so much better. I'm so happy I took the morning to myself. I actually like chatted with a couple friends on the phone, which was nice. I'm putting on some of this Dior lip maximizer. Um, right before I was about to start getting ready, my sweet neighbor knocked on the door and was like, hey, like just saying hi. And I was like, oh my God, like let me let you in and show you the place. Cause we've met a couple times, but I'm sure it's really cool. I love seeing like what other people's places look like, especially when you're living in the same building, like seeing what other people do. So she came and saw mine. And then I went and saw hers and it was so fun. Like she, so she works in the art industry. So her walls were just so cool. Like there was just artwork everywhere. But yeah, so about to head to record to Eli's. Um, Brooke is actually like nearby. So she's coming up and we're gonna walk the rest of the way together. Um, Eli texted us and was like, honestly, like I don't even know if I'm gonna record the video today or like use it, but I was like, whatever, I'll just still get ready. Here's my fit. So I was like, okay, I'll just be more casual than I was like yesterday. Jacket is from the Helsa collection from Revolve. I love it. It's the perfect fall jacket. This is my new long sleeve from Uniqlo. And then jeans are good American. Oh, Brooke is here. Coming. My hallway is so long, it like takes a second. Hello. Hello, you. Hello, you. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for having me. I was vlogging. Oh my god, I had music going. I'll um, resume now. Hello. <laughs> Hi guys, so we finished recording. The podcast was incredible. I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it. She asked us questions that really make you think and honestly, Brooke and I didn't think much, like we've never really answered those questions before. So definitely go listen. <gasps> I never put in earrings today. <gasps> oh my gosh, whatever. <laughs> I'm walking on this lovely street right now. Oh, the pumpkins so cute um it's hot i had to take off my jacket and this is like that thermal shirt from uniqlo so it's warm <laughs> it's like literally feels like a summer day right now it's a little scary but that's okay i'm now i decided i'm gonna walk it's like a 40 minute walk because we were recording up in like flat iron area and i'm gonna walk to lower east side to go to mickey because i have time and these nails are just so ready i still i don't even know what i'm doing still so updates to come but yeah, I think walking is really good for when you're feeling anxious. I'm obviously feeling a lot better than this morning and I'm really grateful for that, but I feel like to get some movement in. So let's go to a workout class tonight. So hopefully I'm still gonna do that, but yeah, just gonna see how my body feels. So I'm a little sore right now. I don't really know why, but yeah. The apartment I've been out and about my legs are like jelly because I walked everywhere but it feels good to do that um I'm just dead tired and I know I haven't even done much today I chose to walk and I got my nails done like I I did it even coming on here and being like I'm tired like I understand like I had a really fun day I got to podcast I canceled my plant my stuff this morning I don't know my body I we talked about on Eli's podcast, like our toxic traits. And I realized that one of my toxic traits is looking out like two weeks in advance being like, oh, I have nothing that week. Let me just pile a ton of shit in and do a ton of things. And when it comes to it, like I just need time in between everything. And, I, and I'm grateful that I can do that. And because a lot of the stuff I do is very social battery based and socializing. And I'm like literally so grateful, but... I'm just dead and my body's dead and I'm sore and I have a workout in the morning so you guys see where I'm going with this. I'm canceling my workout. I'm not going to Equinox. Like my body just hurts and last night I was up till midnight doing computer work and tonight I really want to like make myself dinner, wash my hair, relax and watch TV. Like actually sit on my couch and watch TV and not like be on my computer also doing things. Like I, I just want to like not think about my own life so... I actually just stopped by my old apartment, which was crazy because my neighbor there was like, hey, you got a couple packages here. And they were like PR packages, whatever. Um, and she's been collecting them for me, which was so, so nice. Um, so I went over there and I like chatted with her for a little bit. Her dog is literally so cute. She also has a golden doodle. And it was just so nice of her. Um, so I went there and I also 
Got my nails done. We just went for like a dark brown moment. I tried to do the like velvet nails. We like put the magnet powder on it, but I did not like how it looked, so we took it off. But anyways, my mom used to make this meal. I texted her. I was like, I need this recipe. I'm literally so hungry. I like need to go get the groceries right now. Called Southwest Chicken. It's so good. It's like chicken, rice, or chicken, beans, corn, tomatoes, salsa. And you just kind of like cook it all together and it's really, really good. And like if you want to do like a side of rice. And I actually I need to take a picture. I have like a grocery list that I made this morning. So I'm just going to bring a couple of tote bags and get some grocery shopping done while I'm at it. And then we're going to come back and cook and have a self-care night. Because sometimes when anxiety hits and tiredness hits, you just have to like lean into it. And not put a ton of pressure on yourself. Alright. Groceries are got. I'm very... Ooh. I definitely risked it by putting everything in that bag, but these aloe bags honestly hold so much. Um, I'm really happy with my grocery haul today. I got more bananas. Guys, I'm so happy. I finally have like a little produce bowl that I just keep out on the um, counter here with all my produce. I always like to get bananas because they always ripen my avocados faster. And I and it's really not a problem because I just eat avocados every morning, so they're always ready for me. And if I, if they seem like they're getting too ripe, then I just pop them in the fridge. Some of my produce, I got cauliflower because I made it the other night with Ryan. It was so good. I just put olive oil, salt, and pepper. Oh my god, delicious. Cauliflower, green beans. I got, so tonight I'm making that Southwest chicken, so I got ingredients for that, which included chicken tender loins. I got more turkey, because I'm obsessed with turkey. I got, I think like, I think I got like five avocados. Putting them in the produce bowl. Oh, I'm so happy. I love having groceries. It's just such a simple pleasure. Um, salsa, which is also for tonight. I got more olive oil to fill up my olive oil thing back there. Arugula, mozzarella, and cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes, whatever these are, little tomatoes, um, to make like my favorite salad. It's just like a good lunch. I love having those ingredients on hand. I do that with Italian dressing. This is tilted, isn't it? I don't really know how much I can help it. And sometimes I add chicken to the top and it's so good. More apples for my produce bowl as well. My produce bowl's getting a little full. Hot sauce, original hot sauce. My favorite hot sauce is Texas Pete, and it's just not very popular here in New York, at least the places I've been going. Cause I'm lazy and I literally hate to peel garlic, but I love how garlic tastes with like vegetables. I got some pre-peeled garlic, judge me. Corn and black beans for the recipe tonight. And then, I've never actually made these at home. I got Brussels sprouts, because I've heard they're really, really yummy. Again, with just olive oil, salt, and pepper. Um, you could also put them on a pan and put them in the oven. I haven't decided what I want to do, because I feel like that would make them nice and crispy. I'm gonna get some, there's like a playlist, like dinner jazz or something. I'm gonna get that going. <laughs> Brooke on the podcast today was like, you literally romanticize your whole life, and I love it. And I was like, I really do. And like, it's fun. I try to, when I can. Um, and I just cooking is so therapeutic for me and it really soothes me So I got to get some windows open though because it's hot in here But yeah looking forward to our cooking evening Really happy with my decision not to go work out because then I would have rushed to eat something probably not as nutritious To go work out. It just wasn't a good plan. It wasn't a good plan Dinner is done. Sometimes it's good to serve over rice. I'm gonna just do the chicken with the rice or the corn and the beans and added cumin. Oh, and the salsa. So I'm excited. I've only ever eaten this when my mom made it like growing up. So I'm really excited to dive in. <laughs> I'm walking all the way over here. And I'm gonna watch something on TV and enjoy my dinner. Bon appetit. Okay, dinner was amazing. So happy about it. I'm watching Kardashians right now, but I wanna do like this little treatment while I watch it. So I got these new shampoo and conditioners from Amika. My aunt recommended them. She said they completely transformed her hair. 
This is the, they have a ton of different shampoo and conditioner lines. This is the Cure one, it's Bond Repair Shampoo. And then I got the Bond Repair Conditioner. And then basically once you, you're supposed to shampoo and condition your hair and then you get out of the shower and you like section your hair and you like put this on your scalp and throughout your hair. It's just good for repair. Um, and then you leave that and then you wash it out. And I just feel like that's what I wanna do right now. And I'm getting my hair done like colored tomorrow. So I just wanna get in there with like some good old hair. So we're gonna do that now. All right, I washed and conditioned my hair and then I put this stuff in. It was really satisfying to like squeeze into my hair and then I shrubbed it through and I pulled it back and it's been about 20 minutes now. They say if it's you have like super damaged hair, you can leave it in, but I'm gonna wash it out because I'm like getting my hair done and everything tomorrow too. So let's do it. All right, hair is all washed and I rinsed, or I rinsed out the leave-in conditioner or whatever. The the repair treatment, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, and I was like, okay, now Danielle will be sit on the couch and we relax. And like, this is definitely like a thing with like health anxiety and just anxiety in general. Like as soon as I laid down on the couch, I could feel my heart thumping. Not like super fast, just like thumping. And it's just a really uncomfortable feeling. So I started to get anxious. And I was like, no, we're not doing this. Like, this happens to me sometimes when I'm go, go, go. And then I sit to relax. It's almost like my body's kind of catching up with itself. I don't know if any of you guys experience that. But damn, I'm like, uh-uh, we're not doing this right now. I'm like trying to have the mentality of like, hi, friends. Like, what's up? I hear you, anxiety. What's up, girly? Like, good to see you. What are you trying to tell me today? But I'm making some sleepy time tea. It's 8.55 and I'm really, um, I'm gonna be okay, I'm fine. Um, I think that's the one thing with like living alone in these situations, I'm like, ugh, like that. Eh. Cause like when Delaney and I would live together, I'd just like go to her room and be like, hey, what's up? Like, let's chat, you know? And I could fully, I just talked to her on the phone actually. I could call someone, but I really do want alone time right now, and I really do want to just relax and watch a movie. So I'm saying, I think I'll be able to do it. Just need some tea and to talk to you guys, you know? But, yeah, I'm just not going to let it take me over. Like, no, not today, not tomorrow. I know it's there, I know why it's there, and I'm just trying to, like, lean into that. So I've got my tea, which is delightful. I'm going to put a little half and half in it. And uh, I just started Father of the Bride on Hulu because I've heard good things about it and I always see it and I love Steve Martin. Diane Keaton's in it as well. I feel like it'll be a good wholesome movie. I never like make it through movies that I always get sleepy, which honestly I hope is the case and then I'll just crawl to bed. Good morning, everybody. I'm about to head to the gym, but I'm gonna be gone all day today, and when I'm back, Clara Purse is here, and she's a cleaning TikToker, and we're not doing like anything cleaning together, but we're doing stuff in my kitchen, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to have a clean apartment for her. So one of the reasons I got this handheld vacuum was for moments like this when rice spills. But Clara will never know. <laughs> I also just cleaned my counters and like took out my trash and like I had stuff here. I cleaned my table over there. You know, just gotta prep, gotta prep, made the bed, you know, all the things. Oh, and my hallway is looking mighty clean. All I have is my box of San Pellegrino and there was so much stuff here. Having people over always inspires me to clean. Okay, yay, my stove looks so much better. We're literally not even cooking. We're doing a Cocktails with Clara where we like make a drink together, but you know, it's all for the vibes. Okay, you guys, here is the workout fit of the day. Headed to work out with my trainer, Jane. I train with her on Wednesdays. From there, well, I'm gonna shower there, change clothes. From there, we're going to get my hair done. It's happening. I decided we're gonna cut my hair short. We're gonna go blonde, so say goodbye to this. I'm honestly so excited. I'm just like really not obsessed with my hair these days. From there, we're going to record Match Made and Manhattan Podcast with Katie, Colby, and Adam. From there, we're coming back here. Clara will be here, and we're doing a Cocktails with Clara, Getting Ready TikTok. 
um, and then probably going out for a little bit. So big day ahead, gonna take breaks in between. I feel very well rested after last night and I had a really nice leisurely morning. So got my big girl bag today, my tote bag. I'm leaving the window open because it's hot. And yeah, let's let's do it. I, big day, like I can't believe this is happening. I'm just saying like she's just doing like a preliminary cut so because she's thinking I either I either do it above my shoulder or below and she's thinking so below I'll forward for you right now so the problem is with getting a shorter haircut you don't want to have like the awkward length where it's sitting like almost right past your shoulder where it flips out you either want to sit it just a little higher up or you want to go right past your collarbone just a little bit because your collarbone is right here okay so that's what I'm thinking like having it here because here's your shoulder yeah so if you have it just right at your collarbone it'll have that really nice one line or if you do it above the shoulder it's a little I think a little shorter than we want to go so I think we'll start there so yeah. right now I'm gonna cut off just like that just so I can yeah just so you can live with it for a little bit while we color. I'm so excited. I only trust my ads with this. Like, I'm so excited. Oh, yeah. Guys, I'm literally obsessed. Of course, it was humid on my walk back. I am so happy. I love the color. I love the cut. She literally, like, use like a comb to make sure it cut perfectly. I love the length. I'm so happy. I do not regret this at all. I'm in such a rush though. I have to head over to Katie's apartment to record Match Made and then come back and get ready for Clara. But I'm so happy. I feel like a new human. This is amazing. Okay guys, Clara's here and we are getting to work. I asked her, I go, what kind of music do you want? And she goes, Danielle, you remember from the podcast? She cleans her whole apartment with these TikToks in silence. I'm like, okay, I'll just play whatever then. <laughs> it's amazing. We have to do it in, well, we don't have to. We're doing it like at the same time. Like, or like one, two, two, three. And then I'll throw the first piece. Yep. Okay, do you have two pieces? Oh, you do have two pieces. Yeah, okay. So, what should I do first? One, two, three. <laughs> Gotta get more air on it. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, try not to get your hands in it. <laughs> that was definitely not the goal. I think Mary and I did this for like 15 minutes. Or no, more. I figured that's how, I mean, we're just too Okay, cool. one, two, three. Perfect. Okay. Oh, that good. Yeah, that's good. Okay. That's good. Okay. Fire. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cute. And then purses? Purses. Okay, Thank floors. you. This is like full. This is like a brick. Like okay. It. Do you even feel what? like the right side of it? Okay. Wait, all in probably like right side. Okay, perfect. I'll do okay. One, two, three. Okay, wait. I don't really like how mine lay. Yeah, yeah. We'll just edit it like that. Okay. And then it's on the third, on the one, two, three this mm -hmm. time, you like reach in and grab your With our hand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All of it? Yeah. Alright. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Was it too fast? This is the ingredients she's doing like you guys have seen these before but they're like stop motion kind of All right, we're gonna try it cheers Oh my god, that's delicious. No, that's really good. Oh my it's almost like a mule. ginger I love the ginger. Oh, that's why it tastes like a mule. Yeah, it tastes like a mule kind of I'm really enjoying this that's good. That makes me uh, want to try more of theirs. I know. We literally did like a Gigi's kombucha, right? It was one of their yeah, recipes. Yeah, they have a whole um, section. I'm obsessed. <laughs> Love. All right, guys. We just finished, and we're headed to somewhere. We have to decide on our walk. <laughs> we're gonna. We were like, we're all dressed up. We have to do something. We have to. That's Where cool. is this dress from? ASOS. Love. And the shrug. Is it Revolve? Revolve. I need that shrug. 
Steve Madden's. Love. Oh my god, those platform boots. Okay, okay. So yeah, we're off. Thanks for coming over. Thanks yeah. for having me. So fun. Good morning, guys. I woke up and I, you know, like the morning after you get your hair cut or colored or whatever, it's like you wake up and you're shocked. I had so much fun last night with Clara. We had a blast. By the time this vlog is up, Cocktails with Clara is already up on her TikTok. It's like such a quick like stop motion video basically, but it's so cool. And the drink was seriously incredible. We made this like golden pineapple ginger kombucha drink. It was chef's kiss. Like I would make that again. It was so delicious. And then we went to Alice restaurant and, and hung out at the bar for like an hour and a half. I want to say maybe two hours. And then we came back here and we talked even more and then she went home. Um, but I just love her. She's amazing. She's just such a stunning human being inside and out and it was really nice And it was fun to get all dressed up with my new hair I still haven't like posted like a story or anything on Instagram because I really want to be like annoying and be like Fine, I did it or something because everyone always told me to cut my hair and just drop it with a caption Fine, I did it or something like that Or fine, I cut my hair I don't really know so I think my friend Allie's gonna come help me take a photo today because tonight's Halloween. Like it's hollow like I'm about to end this vlog, sorry. That's where this is going. Um to start like a Halloween weekend vlog. But um I don't want my first photo of my hair to be Halloween and tonight I'm being Tinkerbell. Oh, I don't even know if I can put my hair up in a butt. Oh. I actually can. Oh. Oh that's so cute. So I think I might do like a half up, half down Tinkerbell or like a low bun Tinkerbell. People will still hopefully get the vibes. But, and Ryan's being Peter Pan, but like a more like, he's not wearing tights. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna have my friend Allie help me take a photo so I can like drop that on the gram because I'm dramatic like that. Um, but I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. It has been such a... I know there was a lot of like long talking clips in this, so I hope you guys are cool with that It's just I felt the need to talk to you guys a lot and You know, it's kind of it was a fun amazing week, but there was a lot going on. And I think my anxiety just Popped in but yesterday actually was pretty good I was able to like take time in between each thing Love you guys subscribe to be notified every time I upload a new video follow me on Instagram Ugh. Listen to my podcast, Gals on the Go. I like literally haven't even had coffee yet, so this is a lot. But I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.